And the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, three type of people, Allah will not accept from them nothing that they perform as an act of worship. First of the three, Al-Aq, the person who is rude to his mother or to his parents. Person who talks back. Person who does not respect her. Person who does not listen to his mother. That is the first person out of the three categories who Allah would not accept anything from them. Not salah, not sadaqah, not, not charity, not an act of worship. None of that. None of that. The second he said, Al-Mannan. And Al-Mannan is the person who gives you something. Well, look, I gave you this, you know. Well, I gave you this and that. You should be grateful to me. And the third person is the person who sells his merchandise by saying, Wallahi, this is what I get. Wallahi, this is how much I pay for. And he did not pay for. Unacceptable. So we're not here to make fun of our mothers. But here we want to understand, I want you to understand the importance of your mother. Some of the mothers may a little bit be funny. Do you agree? And he asked one of the brothers, what should, what should I say when he saw the title? And he said, we should say, yo, your mother, is she so skinny that when your father find her, found her, he thought this is African miswak. But, it's not the case. Some of the mothers, by the way, out of their love, they may treat their children in a little different way. Little different way. They may see you as a young people, as you don't know anything, and you, you, you're always up to no good. But this is not because of any ill feelings that they have for you. No, this is because there is so much concern about you. So you got to appreciate that. You have to understand that. Some of the young people, however, try to be slick with their mothers. And they lie to them. Allahu Akbar. They lie to their parents. Especially the mothers who's trying to teach them something that is good. I'll keep them in line, make them understand this is, I have experience, as a mother may say, I have experience, you don't, follow me and do not do this. So they try to be slick, and they go places that they should not be going to. They go places that they should not be going to, and we know each other. And they talk to some people that they should not be talking to. Like, I'm not going to say a boyfriend because boyfriend is is very strong words, haram word. But just male friends, right? He's just a male friend. He has just a little facial hair. You know, his pants is dragging. You know, he can he can he has no money. He's broke. You know, but he has a cell phone, and of course, when he's talking to to you, he he talks to you as though, mashallah, he has all the money, he wants to take you for Team Hortons, mashallah, a lot of money. You know, but, you know, and then at the end of the month, you see him going to his mom, give me just $10 for the cell phone, I just, you know. And he only calls you after 5 o'clock, because it's free. And you're talking to this person, and your hoya tells you, your mother tells you, who are you talking to? And what do we say? Oh, Asha, Asha. And then she will say, Oh, Asha, Udwina, Manimba. You know, why, why is she talking so deep? She sounds like a boy. And then you say, No, no, she's sick. She has a cold. 